Avustralyalı adam 2015 yılında Türkiye'ye gitti. Benimle ufak bir söyleşi yapmayı kabul etti. Eğer Avustralyalı bir adam Türkiye'ye giderse Türkiye'deki izlenimleri ne olur üzerine konuşacağız. Yalnız aşağıdan ayarlar kısmından Türkçe altyazıyı açmayı unutmayın. <Gülüyor> Hi Adam. Hi. <laughs> um, so thanks for coming to the show tonight. <laughs> I didn't have anything else on. <laughs> well, um, back in 2015, you and I went to Turkey together. We did. We did. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, I just wanted to talk about your experience as an Australian. Like, you know, how was your first impression when you first arrived in Istanbul? And what was your first impression, like when you first arrived Giresun? And what was your first impression when you arrived at um, Datça? Because um, Adam had chance to see actually three different cities. Um, and yeah, and um, Istanbul was, uh, was the first one as there was a port he arrived and then I took him to Giresun originally where my um, my parents from uh, my mom's side so he actually met my uncles aunties uh, my yenge <laughs> um, my cousins and then we went to Dacia uh, for holiday and then yeah and Istanbul again then we head back to Australia together I just want to ask you, which which city would you like to start? Like, do you want to start from the beginning? Like, yeah, let's start from the beginning. Let's, yeah. I just really want to know what was your first impression when you first landed in Atatürk Airport and your passport check. Uh, the passport check was was really surprising because when I went went through Australian customs, it was there were lots of questions like, why are you going? Blah, 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 blah. And when I got to it, customs at Istanbul. Uh, they just cut the guy just kind of looked at it and was like just go <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's um that's, was like, yeah. that's why i wanted to know because um it's mostly like when you come to australia the customs is really strict mm -hmm. and and yeah you just like um you know they look in your passport your photo your passport your photo and whereas in turkey it's just like oh australian passport yeah like yeah stamp it's pretty much just straight through i don't think the guy even looked at me I try to show Adam around as much as possible. I was quite excited to have him to show my hometown where I grew up. Um, especially I was like trying to impress him with the historical buildings that we have like Sultan Ahmed, Blue Mosque, um, Grand Bazaar and stuff. And I might be a bit like cruel to him as um, I Force him to jump in Metrobus. Abi Metrobus ya. What do you want to say about Metrobus? <laughs> it was very packed and we were, we were on it for a long time and you made me push through people to get a seat. And how does it make you feel? Claustrophobic. <laughs> Maybe a little bit rude. Oh yeah, that pushing through. Yes, yes. Is yeah. it something normal in Australia no. you do that? No, well some people do. But yeah, I don't. But it's considered as a rude behavior. It is considered rude behavior, yes. Yes. So it was it was a bit of a culture shock. <laughs> but Metrobus was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Five stars. <laughs> and how how did you feel in the in the Metrobus when you look at around? What first thing you noticed? Um the the first thing I noticed that I was the tallest person on the Metrobus. I'm not that tall here. I, I'm kind of tall, like I'm above average height, but I was taller than everybody. <laughs> and and how do you feel about like um, our beautiful history in Turkey, like the the buildings? The buildings. Pl did I did I take you in a palace? I, yeah, I you took me. Took me to top. Top yeah. Kapı, That's top right. I I took him to Top Kapı Palace. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what, like how, as an Australian, because you guys are, have very young country, like as as white country, not mm. like as an Australian, yeah, as a yeah. million years old. Um, yeah, as a white Australian, you guys are really young. Um, well, how was Istanbul? Is, Istanbul is like really old city. 
and like yeah. crowded. It is like here in Melbourne or in Sydney or in Newcastle where I'm from, you, you, you see a building that's like 80 years old, it's like, whoa, that's an old building. But you know, you're looking around at places in Istanbul that are over a thousand years old? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, most of them like it. Yeah, it's, it depends Hundreds where and, you Yeah, depending, on. yeah. Where... Hagia Sophia, for example, mm. it's really old. And... Yeah, yeah. Adam, Adam's favorite place is Giresun. That was, yeah, that's where I, that I enjoyed the Do most. you want a little bit talk about Giresun? Why it is your favorite place and what you think about when you compare in Istanbul? <coughs> Sorry. When you compare in Istanbul and Giresun, what's the major differences to you? It was a lot less people. <laughs> um, it was a lot more like it was like it was like the countryside. You know, it was nice, and we stayed stayed in the village. With your grandparents. Yeah, Batlama, Batlama, hi Batlama. <laughs> and what's your favorite moment in Giresun? My favorite moment. Yeah. Uh. Uh, where the guy from the Turkish Mafia stroke my beard was a pretty, pretty amusing moment. Of course. <laughs> Do you want to talk about that, like, how my mom and my grandma attempt to kill you by overfeeding you? Yeah, okay. Um, I, I've never ever been so full in my entire life as when I was in Turkey. I, it hurt. It was, it was, it was, it was painful. I had to develop strategies <laughs> to not eat as much because if I stopped eating people would put things on my, your mom or your grandma would just put more on my plate and I was too polite so I just ate it <laughs> and and there was like a moment I was telling my grandma grandma please stop his his fall and my grandma was just saying Shush Sena he can't speak Turkish he can't tell if he's hungry <laughs> and I'm like Grandma I am fluent in his language, so he can speak to me, talk to me in English, and I will translate it. That's fine. And my grandma like, no, it's not the same. And she was just like grabbing a, like a massive plate and just like <laughs> putting the half of the food into Adam's plate. And Adam was like, do I really have to eat this? I'm like, oh, no, because you've been eating like last couple of hours, and I think if you eat more, you're gonna explode. <sighs> So that's fine. And Adam never drank so much tea. That was a lot. Of, I drank a lot of tea, yeah. Yeah, as much as you did in Gerson, I guess. Mm. Like, literally, what we do is just it's like... Just, it's just cup after cup of tea, yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. people stopped asking him to, like, would you like more? They stopped. <laughs> they were like, yeah, pouring, pouring tea into his teacup. Mm. That was interesting. That was fun, yeah. That was good. Um, would you like to talk about a little bit Dacha? Okay. I think Dacha was your favorite place too. Yeah, Dacha was good. I mean, Dacha was a resort, so... <laughs> I know. Mm. But... Yes, I, I really... Yeah, it was, it was... Yeah, I would like to talk about that, okay? Yes. <laughs> Is that what you were... <laughs> I want you to talk about the Russians and Germans. Oh, you want me to... It was it was a it was a resort and it was it was completely filled with Russians and Germans. <laughs> and um, large 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 people in really really small small swimming costumes. <laughs> what do you mean by large? I mean obese. <laughs> uh, it was eye opening. Turkish food. In Dutcha? No, in like generally Turkish food. How yeah. Like, I well, mean, like, what you like, like? Did you like them? Of course I did. It was some of the best eating I've done. Yeah. Culture. Culture. People in culture. Like, how was the pe Turkish people towards you? The Turkish people were really good. They're always like, I tried to speak Turkish to to some people, and they immediately start talking to me in English. So you know, they were very accommodating. <laughs> But I was like, no, I want to practice. Um, yeah. mm. And would you like to go back to Turkey again? Uh, of course, yeah. If you have money. If I ever have money again. Yeah. If you have money. I miss my mummy. I hope someone here to watch in this video might be happily sponsor us. <laughs> Take us to Istanbul. <laughs> like, that would be great. I miss my mummy. 
Well, Adam eventually called my aunties, Teze, Hala, or just like, you know, when when he meet my Yenges, and then he would just say, Yenge, do you, all, all these things, like he just like literally start talking like that. My old cousins absolutely loved him, um, especially the younger ones, Aisha and Zainab, and they were actually fighting over Adam, like who wants to play with Adam more, and Adam absolutely like, was over the moon with the reaction and my grandpa and my my grandma they absolutely adore him just like just because yeah you ate all the food <laughs> and we were so so sorry for Adam like my sister and I were watching like oh my god is he's gonna eat all of these things and yes he did um he struggled as a like a, a tall man in Giresun yeah, we, we, we started a hashtag, too tall for turkey. Yeah. yeah. Too like tall Gandalf. for turkey. And then he was like extremely under pressure to go and see a doctor and the plant hair. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Being bald, the only people who have ever suggested I get a hand raised plant are Turkish people. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it was like literally nearly everyone and every person that i met like he met i introduced to him to my mother's friends um when we went to the beach um in Giresun. he's been constantly fed by strangers i was so upset for him seriously as an australian he lost his personal space and the people were just like literally painted ekmek and like putting his mouth you know and he was <laughs> he was so sweet and it was just like keep eating but it was really good food i mean you're making it sound like it was really horrible for me i don't think it was i really did enjoy the food it's just it, it, it yeah but as as turkish people um we commented an australian very good done so we represent our culture very well overall we want to go back to turkey again but we don't have money <laughs> there we go all right uh, last words anything you want to say before we finish this up no hello <laughs> you can say hello in turkish Merhaba. and güle 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 always saying goodbye now yeah okay I just did. Güle güle. <gülüyor> Bizi izlediğiniz için çok teşekkür ederiz arkadaşlar. Umarım böyle eğlenceli bir bölüm olmuştur size. Ee, Adam'ı görmek isteyenler de bol bol Adam'ı görmüş oldular. Ee, Adam Türkiye'ye geldi 2015 yılında. Biz gerçekten çok eğlendik. Umarım e, bu yaz Türkiye'ye tekrar gelebileceğiz ama e, şakayla karışık sponsor kısmında ciddiydim. Gerçekten paramız yok ya. Bizi bire Türkiye'ye getirsin ne olur. Annemi falan çok özledim. Hem Adam'la da tanışırsınız. Toplantı da yaparız. E, videoyu bitirmeden önce e, kanala abone olmayı unutmazsanız çok sevinirim. Böylece yeni videolardan haberdar olursunuz. Eğer bu bölümü beğendiyseniz beğenip paylaşırsanız e, YouTube benim videolarımı size daha çok tavsiye eder. Çok teşekkürler. Görüşmek üzere.